The HZO protection process is divided into three parts, pre-production, coating application, and post-production. Because HZO's thin film barrier is dielectric, there may be areas of a PCB or electrical component, like connectors, that need to be protected from the coating. HZO engineers analyze each device in order to understand which components need to be masked, and then apply a masking material to ensure these areas maintain functionality after the coating has been applied. Depending on customer requirements, the masking process can be performed manually, through semi-automation, or using full automation equipment. Exterior moldings, casings, and screens don't require the protection of HZO's material, since the thin film is applied directly to the electronics inside devices. Following pre-production preparation, units are loaded onto specially designed trays and racks and inserted into the vacuum deposition chamber of one of HZO's proprietary machines. Thousands of PCBs, components, sensors, or other electronics can be processed at a time, depending on the size of the assembly and piece of HZO equipment utilized. Based on the surface area of units in the chamber and the target thickness, a precisely calculated amount of raw material is added to the machine in powder form. This organic polymer blend travels from one end of the equipment to the other, being exposed to high temperatures during the migration and converting the raw material directly from powder to vapor. Following the chemical change, the vapor enters the vacuum deposition chamber at ambient or room temperature and angstrom monomers land on any exposed surface, bonding one by one to form particle chains. These monomer chains stack on top of one another, growing a very uniform thin film polymer barrier. Once deposition is complete, the solution is permanent and no additional curing time is required. In the case of connectors, screens, or other sensitive areas that require masking in pre-production, that masking material is now carefully removed and the electronics are ready for the next phase of production. One step closer to a complete and fully waterproof device.